Guys, look at this dog right here. What's up, man? He's on the stairs sunbathing. Boy, you're getting warm now. Let me be very clear. For one, shout out to the people in the UK and overseas. I've been getting a lot of messages, and I do mean a lot. And I stopped. I'm no longer replying to messages. I want to keep reiterating that. You can't message me anymore. You're either part of our Pet Achievers Club. You're clicking the link so you can potentially get on our waiting list. But if you're overseas, I'm not shipping no dogs overseas. No disrespect to all those people who are excited about the American bully. I saw what happened to it 10 years ago. I'm not participating in that. And plus, we're about to breed an AMT. So I'm not even trying to breed better bullies. I'm over. I've been over the bully for over 10 years. Over it. And I still got bullies. Actually, my oldest bully just died. And the crazy part is, my pit bull who's 14 outlived the bully. That's not crazy, it's a pit bull. Why would it die too soon? But Champ still lived to about 11 years old, so he, he had a great life. He did have a great life. He was my road dog. He's with me through everything. Guys, our business is rooted in education. Education, solving nutritional problems, preventing problems from taking place, teaching about genetics, managing your dog, that impulse buy of getting a dog. I'm not here to fulfill the world with dogs, and you don't need one of my dogs. We do. So when people have said, hey, I'd love to get one of your dogs from overseas, good luck. There's a lot of dogs overseas. Y'all producing all kinds of dogs. You don't need one of my dogs to have a dog. And I'm not shipping no dog to the UK. I know they might not like this, but that's just the truth. Our business, again, I repeat, it ain't based on selling dogs. Selling dogs don't pay my bills. All this stuff costs a lot of money. And I count this. This is a calculated cost. I mean, uh, loss. So it's, you look at your LP, your loss prevention. We can't prevent this loss because it's coming. We know how many breedings we have to do, and on every breeding, we'll barely break even, let alone be profitable. We won't even see a profit until we officially get our land and we're no longer investing in stuff so that the dogs can go out and grow. And that's still some time away. And then each year, we'll get to less and less breedings. And in two years, we might not even have 30 dogs. I know breeders who have 50 to 100 dogs a year, if not more. Realistically, a breeder has more than more than a hundred dogs, more than fifty dogs a year. I might not have thirty in two years. So, if you're from the other part of the world, I hope you find the dog you're looking for. But this ain't the program for you because I'm not shipping a dog. The minute I see a different country, I was like, "Hey, what if I come over and pick it up yourself?" It's not, I'm still not sending it over there. It's not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not contributing to the problem that's going to be created. I saw what happens with the American bully ten years ago. I see what's happening to it right now. I see the excitement and the pizzazz that you guys and everybody has behind it. Because you're getting money. Look at these dogs. Look at me. I'm not them. We show you literally, if you're here on this page, how to train, love, teach, take care of your dog, protect your, protect your dog, enjoy your dog, make sure it lives long. And if you're part of our pet achievers community, I'm really going into teaching y'all that. That should be your focus. Not getting a dog from me. Getting a dog from me is, is irrelevant. Useless. It's worthless. It means nothing. I will not pat myself on the back. Some people are like, oh, I sold to the UK. I got so-and-so UK. No, just no, I don't care. We are an educational company. And at the top of our list every day is how can I wake up and be better for all those people who are getting dogs, especially as we get away from the American bully and don't know how to even deal with them, manage them, feed them, take care of them. They're putting more and more problems into the American bully. That's the problem. I get messages all the time. Hey, what genetics book should I read? For what? <laughs> Y'all ain't testing genetics. Y'all ain't worried about the dog's genetics. Y'all worried about how big the head gonna be? How much the dog gonna weigh? How crazy it's gonna look? How much so-called bone it's gonna have? I've already read the books showing y'all, hey, too much bone is a problem, too little bone is a problem. Y'all gotta find a happy medium, but y'all want a dog to look at. I ain't, I'm not him. I, know, I ain't looking at no dogs. If they can't do nothing, they gotta go. They got to go. So take care of your dogs. Don't worry about my dogs. And we'll keep teaching you about dogs. And many other things. If you're willing to listen, learn, and be better. I've got no quarrel with the UK. I've got nothing against you guys. Hell, I might come over there one day and hang out with you. And get to, get to meet some of the people who have enjoyed our process. But I'm not sending y'all no dogs. It's just not happening. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs.